Hello YouTubers. <coughs> well today I really wanted to make one of my um, happy and silly videos but maybe I will later but for now I just can't. I, uh, I have just spent the last 10 minutes in tears because I have just, I've just watched this video by a, a young 23 year old girl who is one of and she is a really beautiful young lady and a really caring young lady um, who, who spends the majority of her life looking after her mother and she has this opinion of herself that she is ugly and you know I can so relate to that from my younger life and I'm so wound up at the fact that I w I've allowed myself to get into tears over it because tears is something I don't do. It's it's it's, it's very rare. And not I don't need sympathy. I, I don't need people to feel sorry for me. But I, I'm just I'm just, I'm just going to share this story with you because I'm in the mood to, to, to share it. But the, the majority of my ch childhood, I was uh, brought up in uh, children's homes. And uh, the, the bullying that went on in those children's homes in those days was atrocious. And, and one of the rituals I used to have to go through most mornings was um, the, the bigger lads in the home, they would have comments. <coughs> Sorry, I had to edit that bit because of a phone call. Anyway, as I was saying, um, the bullying in these uh, children's homes was absolutely atrocious and one of the rituals I had to go through nearly every morning was the, the bigger lads in the home they would have competitions to see who could hit you the hardest and make you squeal the loudest so in the end you just like take, you know, screw yourself up in a ball and, and make sure you don't make any sign any sign of noise at all and certainly to show tears was a a waste of time because that made it uh, a lot worse. So you just used to learn to, to block everything out. And then, you know, when this happens over a long period of time, you know, certainly when you get into later life, it just makes it, you know, um, very, very um, difficult just to, to um, show your emotions sometimes. So when I do have. Uh, when I do have tears, it, it, it happens very rarely, very, very rarely. Um, the, the last time I had any sort of tears was when I had to uh, come home after staying with my wife uh, last Christmas. And I think the time before that, um, it was after the, um, two little girls who had been in our newspapers for weeks um, had been found dead. Um, so it, it really, really takes something to, to move me into that um, situation. And after looking after, uh, as to why I felt the way I did this morning, it's because I know I used to feel exactly the same way that this young lady did. And it still to this day really, really, really pisses me off that society projects these images upon us that we're supposed to look in a certain way and we're supposed to behave in a certain way and you know particularly people that, that are blessed with these things they know they're blessed with these things and, and they get their kicks out of just knocking everybody else down and they don't realise the damage that they're doing to the people when they put other people down and I know most of the people that or, or watching me now or, or friends that I've made on YouTube and they're not the type of people to do that but you never know if you know some hater or you know somebody that gets a kick out of saying bad things about people just tunes in you know you just make one person think about the actually act you know it's like you know if you keep telling your children they're stupid then they're going to grow up believing they're stupid and if you keep you know telling your friends in the school ground that they're ugly, they're going to grow up believing that they're ugly and once 
you know, no matter how many times you try to tell people they're not, once people have this belief in them, built inside them that they are this particular way, it is so difficult to get out of. And, you know, for this person to feel the way they did, you know, when you see the kind of person they are, it is, it's just, it's just really bad, you know. And then it makes, it makes me feel bad in a way because of the type of work I do and the, the, the you know, I, I sometimes I don't know why I have it because it's impossible, it's impossible to help everybody, it's impossible to rescue everybody. But it's, it's just something that I like to do and I want to do, maybe because it makes me feel better about myself, I don't know. I don't know, I don't really need to feel any better about myself. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a, a, a reasonably decent average person who just has this desire not not to be a, a, a do-gooder, but to just, you know, to, 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 to rescue people from, from whatever pain they have, whatever barriers they have, that's, that's stopping them from, from, you know, well, let's say being a fully functioning person. It's, it's not good, it's not good, but I shall keep trying, I shall keep trying, anyway, I shall uh, go and have a cup of coffee or something and calm down a bit, that's my grievance out of the way for the day, catch you later, bye.